everybody, welcome back to another episode of 5 Minute Gaming News, the show that made another week. Today in the news, social media gaming. It was once the big dream of so many companies, but now that dream is dead. According to gamesindustry.biz, which is, by the way, one of the best gaming news sites out there for the record. TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, has downsized gaming operations. Meta has ended its gaming app. And now Snap as well is cutting back, saying in a recent memo to investors that the platform is laying off 1,300 people and sizable restructuring is going to go on to its core business. The site goes on to say there was a time where games and social media worked together, and Zynga was at the forefront of this too, particularly with Farmville's presence on Facebook. The farming management title did well because it tapped directly into how people were using the social network and tied in-game progress to it. And now it appears those days are done. And I don't know if you remember this, but Farmville was huge. For those of us in the early 2000 days who were being Facebook buddies and like, ugh, MySpace, who uses that anymore? There, there was a time where Farmville was a reason to log into Facebook even. And you would log in and you'd do your, your farming and they would even have ads that would show up and be like, help other people with their farm. And it was this huge social media thing and you would spend money to grow your crops faster and it was this big kind of con. And eventually, they kept hitting you with all these ads to play Farmville and people got pissed and they said, stop doing the ads. And what happened is the minute they stopped advertising that Farmville was a thing to remember 4 million people left in a month. They just stopped playing because it was no longer the only thing they saw when they logged in. And now keeping that in mind, plus the idea that you don't really need social media anymore to play big online social games. Eventually, those experiences shifted to mobile. Those same developers didn't feel the need to go through a platform holder like Facebook, and the bottom of that era of social gaming fell out. And that apparently stands true today, because as more and more companies are trying to incorporate gaming into their social platforms, you can see that not a lot of people give a damn. The struggle of even the most popular social platforms to expand into the games market shows that high levels of engagement do not equate to easy success for a games division. Social and tech companies need to have a clear, coherent, long-term strategy led by industry experts and be willing to make significant investments over time in people and quality content. Without this as a foundation and instead hoping for short-term gains, history shows that an expansion into games will ultimately prove an unfruitful endeavor, according to Sensor Tower analyst Craig Chappell. And that's why I wanted to talk about this, because it reminds me of Meta and Netflix and TikTok and all these companies that are trying to add game stuff to their platform, but no one's really using it. And the reason why is, one, they're not really investing in anything exciting, right? They're not putting amazing games on the platform. Netflix, for example, their games aren't even on the platform. You have to go to a whole other thing to play their games, which is... Why have them then? Why call it Netflix gaming, right? Or TikTok, the games aren't even that good, you know? These companies see gaming as this additive feature instead of being a thing they really need to focus on and develop. Like, for Facebook, the gaming part of Meta is an extra thing. They're trying to create an online world where you can buy and sell stuff and you want to have business meetings in VR. Gaming should be the focus of that. It is clearly not. And that is why it's failing. Because you see these companies leave social media stuff, go to mobile, have huge success. It's because on mobile, the phone is the platform to play the game. Everyone has their phone on them, the pop-ups on the phone, it's smart. Social media, people go on there, check a few things, remember they hate social media, and leave. And that's bad news for social media, whose whole shtick is to keep you on their platform as long as possible. That's why YouTube gets upset when my videos aren't longer, because you're not watching as long as you could be watching, that kind of thing. I don't know, it's just a topic that I wanted to talk to you about. I would love to see your comments about this down below. Please, let's keep it going. Speaking of keeping it going, it's time for your Kren Minute. Hello everybody, how's it going? It's me, Krendor, and welcome back to the Kren Minute, my once a week segment where I get to talk about whatever I want for a minute. This week I'm not at the news desk, I'm at my normal desk, and I'm going to be showing off my sit-stand desk, because I want to talk about, you know, more health stuff. So everybody's sitting around, right, you're sitting in your chair, you're like, blah, or you're like, blah, and you're sitting there all day. But, here's what I got now, right, you can just, whoop, oh, 
Oh god. Oh god, I gotta stand up. Look at this. Let's make sure it doesn't go too high and rip my webcam out. That'd be bad. So look at that. So now you can stand up, you know, you can move around. You know, you can, you can jump around. You can like do some boxing or something. You can rotate. You only have, here's the thing. You don't have to stand here all day, right? A lot of people think standing desks, you just stand here all day. But if you get the alternating one, boom, you can do that. And then after a while, you're tired. You're like, you know what? Maybe I want to sit now. Maybe I want to go back to sitting. So I do think it's a, a good investment for anybody that spends an insane amount of hours sitting at a desk and uh, needs needs to be healthier. That's my Cred Minute. Thanks, Credor, for just rubbing it in. This man knows that the sit-stand desk I ordered has still not arrived. I've been waiting on it. Damn thing, they said it would take 10 days. It has been over a month. I've been on tech support trying to, they're like, oh, it's, it's being made. The hell, they cut down the trees themselves? What is going on? Oh, anyway, thank you so much for all of your support. And I really just want to bug you once again. We are very close to a million subscribers. It would blow my mind if we could hit that. I think we're 8,000 away. Go find 8,000 of your closest friends. Just go bug them. I think we can do this. I'm actually pretty blown away by the whole thing. Um, we're finally getting close and it, it feels great. So from me to you, thank you again. And I'll see you Monday for another episode of 5-Minute Gaming News.